Okay, let's meet this uh, this little girl right here. She's funny. This is a, a poorly spelled Octavia. It's misspelled O C T O I V I A. I don't know what that is. She's a three year old unspayed female, but microchip, little lab mix, little lab pity mix, way, way malnourished. Probably, let's see what they had her as. Uh, I'm guessing probably like a two of nine on the body scale. She's 184, uh, 4041. Came in as a stray on 921. Unfortunately, she's been sitting in the eval building this entire time and now makes it on Monday's euthanasia list. So, never had a chance to be seen by anybody. Going a little bit crazy in the eval building. We get her outside here. I'll tell you right now, the poor thing is starved to death. When I tell you that all she cares about is having treats, is all she cares about is having treats. She let me pet her, not an issue, but all she wants is treats. So she's gonna need to decompress in a foster home where she gets regular meals. Um, certainly gonna need to learn how to trust to eat. Give me a sit, look at it, it does a beautiful sit. I know, baby girl, I'll toss it, there you go. Cause she takes these snaps a little bit too hard when taking a treat, so I'm tossed into her. Look at the focus on her, good girl. Good girl, she'll catch anything you throw to her. But this one's gonna need to really learn how to be able to eat her food, not to have any other dogs or kids or humans around, you know, touch her food bowl, because she's gonna be a resource guard, I'll tell you right now. This is a dog that obviously went a long time without eating, and now it is a rare commodity to her, this way she's acting. Um, but I had no trouble leashing her and walking outside. Uh, no issues as far as uh, aggression towards humans. Just that's all she cares about is food. And that's what happens. You starve an animal and just, you know, what do you expect? She's doing really good. Next to, what did you see a fly? What do you see? That's Kiki right there on today's list. So Octavia's on Monday's list. She's only 27 pounds. Clearly needs more weight on her. She's missing all the hair in her back. Just looks like classic dermatitis. Missing hair on the back of her legs. High on her ears. Just not well cared for. I mean, it's one of classic Houston dog. Street dog. High heart one positive. Jesus. Poor girl. Such a young girl. Three years old. And they already have all these issues. You know what? She just needs to learn a routine. And she's going to be fine. But right now, she doesn't have a routine. Other than the shelter. In a home. She needs to learn that food comes at a regular time. She doesn't have to fight for it. She doesn't have to scrounge for it. She doesn't have to beg for it. That it comes every time. And I've got one at home right now that I'm fostering that's like that. And it's still like every day is a marvel to her that the food bowl comes down. You could just see it. I mean, the girl I have is way underweight like her. They're both the same weight. And it, you could just see the, the, the wheels turning in the head like, oh my God, the guy's feeding me again. It's unbelievable. Eventually she'll learn that they all get the food at the same time, twice a day, and then they'll learn to trust again. Okay, here's our beautiful girl, October. We'll do a temp test with another female. We'll get another female out here. Maybe that Belgian Malinois is also on Monday's list. And we'll see how they do. All right. Good girl.